Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I can assure you, Mr. Speaker, none of us is enjoying these proceedings of an impeachment motion against the Deputy President, and particularly those of us from the government side, the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition, and for obvious reasons, Mr. Speaker, because he has been our leader, we have been in the trenches with him, fighting for this government, and so it has come to this, and I can assure you we are not particularly very um, excited about it. I personally have interacted with him on numerous occasions. If you look in the internet, Mr. Speaker, you will see photos of me dancing with the Deputy President, Mr. Speaker. I have followed these proceedings very keenly. All the 11 counts, um, one, the, uh, the, gross, the gross violations of the Constitution, Article 10, two, the one that talks about the public, the conduct of public officials, including the Deputy President, the one that talks about him being a principal assistant of the President and an extension of the Presidency, Article 147, that talks about his insubordination, and one that Sifuna has talked about, Article 160, that deals with undermining public institutions and particularly the uh, judges, Mr. Speaker. I have been born and grown up in Nairobi County, in Eastlands particularly. And where I come from, when we grow up, we are not even aware of each other's tribe. Our neighbor could be from any other tribe. And so when I hear the Deputy President talking and allocating shares to citizens, I am aware that he's excluding more than half the population of Nairobians from service delivery, the same people that me and Sifuna are always here fighting for every day for allocations and for services, Mr. Speaker. And I see that was not enough. He was in the CBD the other day addressing Nairobians in the Kikuyu language, assuming that all Mar Marikiti traders are Kikuyus, Mr. Speaker, nothing can be further from the truth. And sowing seeds of tribalism in Nairobi is very, very dangerous. If you have seen the slum setup, where we, people live together, all tribes together, I do not want to imagine if you sensitize these people and make them aware of their tribes and their lack of shares in their own country, Mr. Speaker. And finally, in future, I want to call upon presidential candidates to make it a very critical um, attribute of their running mates to have political maturity and to have a national outlook, Mr. Speaker. Because to some extent, we want to, to, to put some blame on the president because we are wondering what he looked at when he picked his running mate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Kajuang.